Hey name tags and welcome to this quick repair tutorial of an external hard drive which is no longer being recognized by your computer like in my case. Today we have a 2 row 2.5 inch 1TB USB 3.0 which is currently my external backup hard drive. Below is a link to the specs. Um, I got this from eBuyer for $39.99 under offer. Currently it retails for about £45 on Amazon and elsewhere. So, when plugged in the white LED light turns on but nothing appears on my computer as I will show you later. So I'm unable to access my files. It is still under manufacturer's warranty but if you have ever tried to return anything to the manufacturer like myself, you will know how much of a pain up the wazoo it can be. This is different to returning to the seller which is normally a lot easier. So if you have passed the warranty period or need this device functioning again quickly and cheaply from as little as £4.29 and 5 minutes of your time I will show you how you can easily and quickly fix your external hard drive so don't you dare touch that mouse. So here we have the uh, 2 row 1 terabyte 2.5 inch USB 3.0 um, external hard drive which is plugged into my computer. Right? Right? Okay. So, however, my PC is not recognizing it, and I'm going to take you over to my computer. And I uh, don't know if you can, let me zoom that in. You can see that nothing is coming up, although it's plugged in. So, I'm going to show you how to quickly fix this. Let's get over to my working bench. It's really cold. I hope you appreciate that I'm trying to do this in the cold. Give me some likes. Okay, right. So, one of three things could go wrong in an external hard drive. First, you have the. Sorry, let me just zoom that back in. Okay. First, you have the cable, which could be faulty. Next, you have. Inside the external hard drive enclosure, you have a connector, a SATA connector, something like that, which plugs into your drive, which could actually go wrong. And the third thing that could go wrong is inside the disk, sorry, inside the enclosure, there's an actual hard drive, which also could be faulty. So when you do have a faulty external hard drive, you should check any of these one, two, and three components. Um, to check the USB, all you need to do is actually plug a different USB cable into the device. In my case, unfortunately, this, as you can see, is not a standard USB port. It's got a funny shaped one. So I don't have a cable that matches this one, so I can't actually check this. Um, but in my case, I do know what the problem is. The problem is with the SATA connector, which actually connects this USB cable to the drive inside. So we're going to change that. Right, so what I did was I grabbed from uh, eBay you can also get something similar from Amazon or anywhere else. It's an external hard drive enclosure. Uh, this came with the external caddy, the SATA port, which clicks in there. And as you can see, this one has got a standard um, USB port connector, as opposed to this one. Let me see if we can uh, show you the difference. You see that? So this is standard. This is non-standard. Right. And uh, it came with a USB 3 cable, standard stuff, three very, very tiny screws, and a pouch, carry pouch. It's a four leather one. And it also came with a small screwdriver. So I'm going to show you what to do. Right, grab yourself your drive. Avoid you disconnected the cable. Oops, I just dropped my mic. Let me get that back on there. To be fair, I've already unplugged this before. Um, I already did undo this. So this is going to be a lot faster. I'm going to show you what to do. Right. So, um, this particular enclosure is not screwed in. So we're going to take the drive out of the enclosure. Use something sharp. I'm going to use a knife because I already did unscrew. Sorry, I already did open this before. But you should be careful using something which will not damage the case unless you don't really care about it. So, there you go. So inside the enclosure, you will find, as it's just a normal drive, 
sitting. There you go. This is a laptop drive, a 2.5 inch from HGSD, which was inside the case. So we don't need this anymore. And as you can see, this is the culprit. This has become loose. And it came off. Like I said, I already did open this before, so I know this was the problem. But this was loose, so which is why um, the drive was not being recognized. So we're going to change that. So we don't need this anymore. Uh, simply just unplug it. See, this is the uh, SATA connector. And I guess I don't need this part anymore neither. Right. And what I'm going to do is grab the SATA connector and fit it in wrong way there you go put it in there hope it's the right way it clicks in I'm going to use the small screws oh, just bear with me it's really cold I'm trying to maneuver all this they're very very tiny you can barely see it right Right. Well, I'm not going to insult you. Well, by the way, do you know what? I'm not going to do the screw. I'm just going to show you that this actually works. I'm going to screw this later. So, I'm going to plug this in on one side. And let me bring you back to my PC. Oh, thank you for bearing with me. Right. So... We're going to plug this back, oops, into the USB port. There you go. Hopefully, you could see that. And go over to, oh, we have some life. And let's go over to the screen. I'm going to zoom that in. And let's hope we have some sort of recognition. So, Sorry, and there you go. Oops, let me move these out of the way. Something has recognized. Sorry, guys, it's quite hard to maneuver all these different stuff. As you can see, it's recognized my backup. And on my. Now we have a repaired disk drive and. Uh, I can now access my drives. Fantastic. So there you go. That was a quick fix. Remember, you can get a number of different drive enclosures from Amazon or even eBay. And you could also use the same method to actually turn any spare hard drive into an external one. There also exists the 3.5 desktop hard disk external enclosure. Once again, thanks for watching. If you want to see more repair tutorial tips, please subscribe, share and leave me a comment below. Until next time, this was Ash from Heal My PC 99.